Hello and welcome back. In this video, we'll go over steps for training the network. The process of training the network is broken up into five steps, starting with the generation of 50 fake images. And then we combine uh, real and fake images, train the discriminator, and then train generator using GAN, and also save some of the fake images so that we can look at it and see how the training has proceeded. We are going to use B as a batch size of 50. Let's also look at working directory. So get WD. Right now it is specified as this, but I'm going to change this to my desktop. Set working directory. So now if you do get working directory, you can see it has been changed to my desktop. Now let's store within directory dir gan underscore img for images. So let's create this directory dir. So gan underscore img directory has been created on my desktop now. So let's store one in start. Use d loss for discriminator loss. We can initialize this as null. Similarly, generator loss. I'm going to break this down into few steps to make things clear. So let's generate 50 fake images. I'm going to use a for loop. So this loop is going to go from 1 to 100. Let's store within noise. So this is a matrix with random n o r m so random normal distribution we want b times l b is 50 which is the batch size and l is 28 for each i we are going to have b times l data points we can say n row number of rows is b or 50 and number of columns l which is 28 so I think we need to run this. We missed it. So once you do that, this should work fine. Let's call fake images as fake. And we are going to use the generator network to come out with fake images. Predict noise. So if you look at uh, structure of noise, so this is 50 by 28. And if you look at structure of fake, so this is 50 by 28 by 28 by 1. In step 2, we are going to combine real and fake images. So let's say stop is start plus b minus 1. Initial value of start is 1 and b is 50. So 1 plus 50, so we get 51 and then minus 1 is 50. So the last value is going to be 50. So if you look at stop, the last value is 50. Now let's have in real train x that we have for images of handwritten digit 5 start to stop. And then I'm going to put three commas because it has these dimensions. We are also going to reshape. So I'm going to use this reshape now. So real goes as an input number of rows of real and then 28 by 28 by 1. So this line is going to reshape into the required format and let's have rows as n row real. So if you look at rows, so right now it is 50 and then I'm going to use both array. So initially I'm going to just put zero values and dimension is going to be rows times 2 because we have 50 real images and 50 fake images and then dimensions of real so within square brackets negative 1 so let's run this so note that uh, rows is 50 so first 50 images in both is going to be fake images and then we can say so let's put rows plus 1 in parenthesis. So basically 51, 2, 
100 so rows times 2 and then we can match dimensions with three commas so 51 up to 100 we are going to use real images now let me also use labels let's do row bind matrix so this time we'll get random numbers from uniform distribution so r u n i f so this is uniform distribution we start with b which is 50 for fake images instead of using a value of 1 we'll randomize it and actually use random numbers between 0.9 and 1 so this is from uniform distribution 0.9 and 1 number of row n row is b n c o l is 1 similarly we say matrix again we'll use uniform distribution so another 50 labels and this time we'll use lower range when the value is 0 or label is 0 that means image is real but instead of using exactly 0 we are going to use a range between 0 and 0 0.1 So these are the labels that we have generated. So for first 50 images which are fake images, instead of having exactly a value of 1, we have values between 0.9 and 1. So you can see we have introduced uh, some randomization. So fake images end at 50 and then we have real images. So instead of using 0, we have used between 0 and 0 0.1. And then we can say last line as start is start plus b so now start will start at 51 so now we are going to train the discriminator so we'll use d loss that we initialized with null and we connect this to train underscore on batch so what it does is single gradient update or model evaluation over one batch of samples so we are basically going to train our network in batches so we provide both which contains 50 fake images and 50 real images along with labels so next we train the generator using GAN let's call the output as fake as real so let's use a random uniform distribution with dimensions b which is 50 and the range being between 0 and 0 0.1 and for dimensions we can say b comma 1 so if you look at uh, structure of this so you can see this is 50 numbers between 0 and 0 0.1 and g loss i so we are going to use gan model where we provide noise and fake as real so now let's save fake images so within f let's store fake one and dimensions of this f we can specify as 28 by 28 by 1 So we are going to save this f and we can specify path as file.path and this is going to be the directory that we created and we are going to say paste 0 and then i dot png. So what we started here I am going to remove this curly bracket and this loop is going to actually end here so this loop will start with i equals 1 and it will repeat 100 times i'm going to rerun some of these lines and this directory is already created so let's not do anything this one again and now step 1 to 5 so this is entire one loop so we are going to run this so looks like we have one extra parenthesis I'm going to remove this too okay so let's uh, run these so the training process is complete 
So just to quickly go over these uh, five steps that I have indicated, we started by simulating random data points from standard normal distribution and we saved the results in noise and then we used uh, generator network G to create fake images from this uh, random noise. And then in this step, for first iteration, we have values from 1 to 50. In the second iteration, we have values from 51 to 100. And similarly, in the 100th iteration, our values will be 4951 up to 5000. So if you recall, in train X, we had uh, more than 5000 images. So in these uh, 100 iterations, we are not actually repeating any image. In each iteration, what is being done is 50 real images are selected and they are stored in real and then we reshape so that they match the dimensions of fake images. In this line, we are creating an empty array. We are calling it both. Within this, we are storing both fake as well as real images. So in fact, the first 50 images here are fake. Next 50 images are real. We generated uh, 50 random numbers from uniform distribution and used a label between 0.9 and 1 to represent fake images and values between 0 and 0.1 to represent real images. So instead of labeling fake images as just 1 and real as 0, we are introducing some amount of randomness. And then we train the discriminator network using image data contained in both and uh, we also have correct category information contained in labels. Here we are also storing the discriminator loss values in D loss. The idea is if the discriminator network learns to do well in classifying fake and real images, then this loss value will be low. In the next step, we try to fool the network by labeling noise containing random values to have values between 0 and 0 0.1 which was used for real images. So we store these loss values over 100 iterations in G loss and then we are storing first fake image from each of the 100 iterations in this F and then we are saving them in our directory that we created. In the next video we will review the results and also try to improve the network by making it deeper.